What's up guys, it's Josh Barger here once again with another video and today I have a $750 soul, well, $750 plus $50 shipped Soul Supremacy Beater Box and this is actually my first ever Beater Box as a Soul Supremacy Beater Box member. I've waited over a year to be able to purchase these. Uh, obviously because of COVID they couldn't um, add all the new members in as you guys know um, if you guys watch other YouTubers. Um, but I have finally got in and I'm finally able to order beer boxes. So hopefully I'll start buying more. It just depends on how quickly I can sell some of my shoes and my items just so I can afford to buy these each week. Um, one other thing is the reason, the way I got in was it was a, basically a $500 entrance fee. And so we bought soul boxes. So I bought five soul boxes which come with a bunch of these tees and uh, a couple of these tees and then a bunch of their soul um soul supremacy sandals so i will be giving those away once i get back into my um old location so i'm kind of i moved for the summer and i will be in my old location um after the summer's over so that's when that giveaway will happen so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and um with that being said let's just get right into this box i'm super excited and hopefully it get, i get something good on my first box and and i can pay for that entrance fee that i paid um, earlier on last year. Uh oh. I see a couple pairs without a box. I will try to, this box is kind of heavy, but I'll try to give you guys a, a sneak preview as you guys can see. And then we will move right into the box. We'll start off with the open pairs. Uh, looks like we got a couple of those. Um, First one out is the Safari Foam Posit. These are at pretty beat. They do need a very deep clean. As you can see, there's a lot of dirt. But these, for some reason, were really popular back in the day. I don't know if they're popular now, but Foam Posits usually hit around 120, 130, depending on which one it is. Uh, but overall, these look like they just need a really clean, uh, really nice wipe down, um, and they're pretty, they're fairly clean overall with. They're dirty, but they need a wipe down, and once they're wiped down, they will be fairly clean. So that's the first pair, and that pair is in a size 10 and a half. So if you guys are interested in those, make sure you hit me up on Instagram, at Reserve Supply Incorporated. Uh, that's where you guys can uh, contact me pretty easily. I try to reply as quick as possible. The next pair that I got is a pair of Stealth Foam Posits. So we got Foam Posits. Looks like we, could, we someone dropped off a Foam Posit collection. Those are in a size 10. Um, these are in very, very good condition. These should fly really quickly just because they're an all black shoe super easy to wear um, and a lot of people do like these overall so I think these will be a very easy move but that's the stealth I'm pretty sure it's a stealth foam posit in a size 10 in pretty good condition so you guys will obviously be able to see them all cleaned up when I go ahead and post them on Instagram that's when you'll see them all cleaned up and finalized our next pair is a pair of oh, what are these they're remastered. I think they're Legend Blues. Um, I could be wrong. Legend Blue or Columbia. One of the two. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember. But it's a remastered one. Uh, this is the Jordan 4. And these are in a size 10.5. These just need a pretty clean wipe down. And I think they would be fair. Um, a pretty easy shoe to sell as well. Jordan 4s always do really well. Um, this is a clean pair. I really enjoy this pair. Um, I wish I bought a pair for myself because I love that they're leather and it's not that uh, mesh material because that mesh material always gets super yellow. But overall, fairly clean shoe. Definitely needs a wipe down um, and also they have some paint chipping so these might just be sold as is. I kind of don't like to do the repainting because I mess them up often but I can definitely clean these up to make them look pretty nice overall. Alrighty. Oh, there's one more pair without the box. This is an Air Max 97 in all black colorway. These are definitely some beaters as well, but obviously all black colorways do really well. Anyways, and these are another size 10.5. Um, really not much to say about these, just an all black shoe. Um, overall, I see a fairly decent profit. You guys will see it on the counter and how much I'm going to have them up for most likely or pretty close to it. I like to put the market value and then sometimes I, I charge a lot less on my Instagram depending on the shoe and what it is. So if you guys are interested in these, let me know. All right, we have, it looks like a lot of pairs left. I hope these are all not the same thing. The ne next pair is an Air Max 90 in a size 10.5. This is that electric orange colorway. I'm pretty sure it's electric orange, but super clean. Air Max 90s are sick. Um, 
What size are these? Ten and a half. Well, it looks like we have a ten and a half collection. That's good because I don't have a lot of ten and a half uh, sneakers available right now. So that's that pair. Comes with the OG box. It also has a hang tag. I didn't know that these come with hang tags. So the other pair is in the same condition. A little bit of scuffing, but clean overall. Size 10.5, and it has a damaged box. Unfortunately, often uh, in the beater boxes, you get damaged boxes just because of that reason, because they move around um, during shipping. All right, we're gonna keep going. We got a lot of pairs in here. An Air Max 95. So we got a lot of Air Maxes in this uh, collection. Size 10.5. Um, I don't know what these are, but fairly clean. Not too bad. If you guys are interested, hit me up. They come with lime laces. And OG box as well. Alrighty, we got three more pairs. Another Air Max Air Max 95 Quick Strike. This looks like the what the or like the greedy. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like a what the. Um, obviously, you have a bunch of different Air Max 95s collab combined into one. Uh, these are pretty beat as well. I mean, just pretty worn like this. You can't really get that off usually, but I can try. It has like a black scuff all across the midsole. Um, doesn't look like they had a price on these, but that's the first one. Air Max 95. All right, we got a couple more. This next one, another Air Max. Has an interesting um, logo on it. Oh, these are nice. I remember when these released. I don't think they go for too much, but I could be wrong. Size 10 and a half. Um, Air Max 90, I think this is, or, 90, or Air Max 1, LHM, it says. I'm not exactly sure what these are, but I think this is a super clean colorway. I see soles. It looks like I got some dirt on there. I got to clean that off, but super clean. Also comes with a dust bag, which is broken, I believe. Um, no, it's not. I just got to tie it back up, but never could go wrong with those extra goodies Air Maxes that they come with. So that is... A lot of pairs so far. We don't usually get this many pairs in a beater box. I was wondering why this box was so heavy, but um, we'll see what we can do. Oh, we got a good one. This is a Jordan 1, size 10.5. I think this might be the money shoe of the box. Um, a little bit of a damaged box, but this is the Chameleon or the All-Star Jordan 1. These are clean. I remember when I got a pair of these, I actually sold them for like under retail when I bought them. Um, and now they go for a very, very... Um, they go for a lot of money now. I'm not sure probably like 400 500 range in this in this condition um, I would call these like 9 out of 10 eight and a half out of ten fairly clean um, And obviously has that iridescent look But I think these will sell and very quickly compared to the rest of the pairs in this box uh, Let's see we got one more pair left. Hopefully it's a banger. Oops And it's another Air Max 90 size 10.5 this is an interesting one. I've never seen these before. It has like a little uh, strap right here where it opens up. I don't know why, but Air Max 90 size 10.5. If you guys are interested in any of these shoes, make sure you guys hit me up on Instagram where you guys can purchase any of these shoes. I will be cleaning them up and posting them there um, as soon as I can. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check out my, uh, my previous videos. These will be more consistent and I will try my best to bring as many beer boxes as I can to you guys because I know those are your guys' favorites from my channel personally. So with that being said, thank you guys so much, um, and it's all love. Peace.